So what's up gamers, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to talk about Valorant. How you can play Valorant on a low end PC with really good FPS and also I'm going to talk about some issues that you guys told me in the last video and some of them were really common and told by a lot of people. So I'm going to talk about them and hopefully help you guys fix those issues. So if this video does end up helping you then I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel that would mean a lot to me. And also if you guys like the video then drop a like on this video and if you guys don't like the video then feel free to dislike the video as well. So without wasting any more time let's just get into the stuff. First of all the issue that you guys told me a lot of times is that your game takes a huge time to load. Now here's the thing, the game starts after all the 10 players gets into the game. So even if your PC is good and your internet is good, the other players like the other 9 players, if one of them have a slow PC, your game will take a lot of time to load. So there's nothing you can do about it. But however, if you think that your PC is the one that's the slow PC, then there are some stuff that you can do. So first of all, you have to understand why your game is slow. So if you think it's your network that's the issue, then I highly recommend you talk to your internet service provider. They will be able to help you in that case. The other issue might be because of your HDD. Now a lot of older HDDs are really slow and they take a lot of time to load. And if you're using an old HDD, then your PC will also take a huge time to load stuff like this. So in that case, I would highly recommend you to get a SSD. Like a 120 GB SSD for 25 to 30 dollars would be really good enough. And that would not only boost the performance of your game, but also boost the performance of your PC as well. And you guys might know that the game Valorant installs on C drive. So you also want to keep your C drive as clean as possible. So as you guys can see, I have only 15 GB of free space in my C drive. That is totally not ideal at all. You want to have at least 20 to 25 GB of free space in your C drive. So make sure that you have enough space in your C drive. And if you are still facing those issues, I highly recommend you get a SSD. The other issue you guys told me about was stutter. Now there's nothing I can do about network stutters. Then you should also talk to your internet service provider. But if you think it's because of your PC or your RAM, then what you should do is close as many background processes as possible. For suppose close Steam, close Origins and all those stuff. Because nowadays almost every game has its own launcher. So make sure that you have the ones that you only need. So let's get into the FPS boosting stuff and I think that sums up for your issues. But if you guys have other issues then feel free to comment it on the video. And some issues can be fixed by just restarting the game. And if you are facing issues like the HUD is missing or the minimap is missing then I highly recommend you to install the game again. The game is only 4GB, it won't take much time for you, I mean for most people. So just install the game again, that will fix up a lot of issues. Now as we have all that out of the way, let's boost our FPS and play the game at a good FPS. Now all this stuff are targeted towards Intel HD users, but however if you are using Nvidia or AMD GPU then you will also be able to use this. And also the game is totally playable in 4GB RAM, there is nothing special that you have to do to run this game on 4GB RAM. But however the game will not run in 2GB RAM, so you might want to keep that in mind. Ok so let's get into it. So first of all what you want to do is get rid of all the temporary files. As I said keep your C drive as clean as possible. So first of all go ahead and open run. Then type percent temp percent. Just like this. Then hit ok and delete everything that you can see here just by pressing ctrl plus a and then shift plus delete. Now this will remove a lot of junk files that you don't need and the ones that you cannot remove just keep them. Ok, after removing all these temporary files, let's remove more temporary files. So just go to run again, then type temp without the percent this time. Then remove all the temporary files from here as well, just delete them and skip the ones that you can't. And also you have to delete all the prefetch files that are really not necessary. And for this game, removing temporary files and cleaning up the C drive helps a lot. Now go to run and type prefetch. Just press ctrl plus A and shift plus delete. And skip the ones that you can't. Now as we have all that junk out of the way, let's make sure that our PC is not using power saving mode. So just go to power plan, just type power here and go to edit power plan. Then go to power options and set the power plan to highest performance. 
and set it to ultimate performance if you can. Okay, as we have our PC on ultimate performance mode, let's close this. By the way, if you don't see ultimate performance, then what you have to do is just go to the power plan again. Wait, let me just go there. Just go to power options and select create a power plan and set it to high performance. And this is actually ultimate performance. There's nothing different between this. So just go ahead and select ultimate performance, like high performance, same thing and set both of them to never and close i mean create it and just select that okay now let's go into our game and change up some in-game settings now if you guys don't do this then you will not be able to do the next step that i'm going to show you so just go inside the game so as we are in the game let's go to settings so first of all there are some things that you have to change from general settings to reduce pressure from our cpu so just go ahead and go to other like go to general first then go to other then copy all the settings that you can see here so just go ahead and pause the video and copy all the settings that you can see here okay after copying all the settings you have to go to video option now from here select display mode to full screen now the resolution depends on your GPU. Now if you are using Intel HD, I highly recommend you use 1280 into 720. But if you are using Nvidia GPU like GT730, GT710 or 660 or stuff like that, then I recommend you use 1600 into 1900 into 900. And of course apply that. We don't and also disable all this limiting stuff because we don't need to limit our FPS. Then go to graphics quality and set everything to low except the multi-threaded rendering set it to on and set all these things to low. Now after that go to stats and hide everything but if you really want to see those stats then just select text only I don't recommend you to see both because that will put a pressure on your CPU. Okay so after selecting all this just close the settings and close the game. Also make sure that you apply the settings. I kind of forgot to tell that. Now let's change up some value from app data. Then, then we are good to go. So just go ahead and open run again. Then type percent app data percent. And then hit OK. Then go to app data, app data, data, whatever you say. Then go to app data. Then select local. Then go to Valorant. Now I think a lot of people told me that they can't see the Valorant folder here. Now if you don't see the Valorant folder, you must go inside the game and also make sure that you change up some settings from the game. Otherwise you will not be able to see this. And if you guys still don't see it, then go to view and then make sure that you have ticked this one, view hidden items. Then go to this one, then go to Valorant folder, then go to saved, then go to config, then go to this random number then go to windows then go to game user settings now right click on it and hit edit then set the SD resolution quality to 80% so what this means is that you are playing the game in the 80% resolution of the resolution that you selected so for suppose if you are playing the game in 1280 into 720 then you are actually playing the game in 80% of 720p now I have no idea what is 80% of 1280 into 720 because I am dumb as <laughs> And if you guys know it, then please tell me in the comments. Now if you guys see that 80% is still lagging, then I highly recommend you just go ahead and set this to 50%. And don't forget to keep these 6 zeros after the dot, otherwise this will not work. And then go ahead and go to file and save this. And now at this point you can go ahead and play the game. But we can do another thing and use a software called Process Lasso. Now the link of this software will be in the description. So just go ahead and open the game. Now as we have our game open, just press the Windows button to get out of the game and go to this software called Process Lasso. The software link as I said will be in the description. Now what you have to do is go to Valorant, just select Valorant as you guys can see. It says Valorant here. Select active processes if you guys don't see it. Then right click on Valorant. Okay, wait, right click on Valorant. Then go to priority class and then select always and set it to real time highest. Because we want the most amount of priority on Valorant. 
Okay, now let's go inside our game to get some boost. Now what this does is that it gives the most amount of power, I mean CPU power to Valorant. But however, I don't know how much legit this is, but I hope this will be able to help you. So at this point, I think you will be able to play the game right now. So I think this was it for today and I will see you guys in the next video. And also please don't forget to subscribe.